Autism Act 2009, Wikipedia article audio. The Autism Act 2009 is an act of the Parliament of the United Kingdom. The act makes provision about the needs of adults who have autism. The act began as part of the National Autistic Society's I Exist campaign which led to the creation of a private member's bill. This was drafted by a number of autism-related organizations. Background Duties It was introduced to the House of Commons by Conservative MP Cheryl Gillan on January 21, 2009. It was then introduced to the House of Lords on June 2, 2009. The Secretary of State has a duty to prepare and publish an autism strategy which sets out the strategy for meeting the needs of adults in England with autism by improving the provision of relevant services to such adults by local authorities, national health service bodies and foundation trusts. This strategy has to be published no later than April 1, 2010. The Secretary of State must keep the strategy under review. They must also consult and seek the participation of persons they deem appropriate when preparing the strategy and revising it in such a way which would result in a substantial change to the strategy in the Secretary of State's opinion. In order for the strategy to be successful, the Secretary of State must issue guidance to NHS bodies and local authorities by no later than December 31, 2010. The Secretary of State must also keep the guidance under review. The guidance must include guidance about The Secretary of State must also consult local authorities and NHS bodies when issuing guidance or when revising it in such a way which would result in a substantial change to the guidance. Autism Strategy Local authorities and NHS bodies have a duty under this Act to treat guidance as if it were general guidance issued under Section 7 of the Local Authority Social Services Act 1970. Parliament will pay for any expenditure incurred under or because of this Act by the Secretary of State and any increase due to the introduction of the Act. Guidance Section 6 provides that the Act came into force at the end of the period of two months that began on the date on which it was passed. The word months means calendar months. The day on which the Act was passed is included in the period of two months. This means that the Act came into force on January 12, 2010. Sasha Daly, Policy and Parliamentary Manager at Treehouse, said, At Treehouse we believe that the there is still much work to be done to improve services for the 1 in 100 children and young people with autism. Their parents all too often have to fight to get the right provision for their children. We will be working with the Department for Children, Schools and Families to ensure that they keep to their word to implement these improvements. Richard Mills, Director of Research at Research Autism, said, This is a wonderful end to a determined campaign led by the NAS. We are hopeful that it will lead to an improvement in services and support for adults with autism in England. As the evidence base for effective services for adults is poor we hope that the autism strategy, that will underpin the Act, will take full account of the potential contribution of research to the development of effective services. Research Autism is proud to have been associated with this campaign. Local authorities and NHS bodies Expenses Provisions Reception National Autistic Society, AIM, Autism Anglia, Autism Education Trust, Autism Initiatives UK, Autism Research Centre, Autism Speaks, Autism West Midlands, The Children's Society Hampshire Autistic Society, Research Autism, Staffordshire Adults Autistic Society, 
Sussex Autistic Community Trust, Treehouse, the Wessex Autistic Society, Rural Autistic Society.